Daily Encouragement for Wednesday, June 17, 2020. And the verse comes from 1 Thessalonians 4, 1, NIV, Living to Please God. As for other matters, brothers and sisters, we instructed you how to live in order to please God, as in fact you are living. Now we ask you and urge you in the Lord Jesus to do this more and more. More and more is the title of today's devotion. The life which pleases God is an instructed life. The Holy Spirit, the scriptures, the human teachers, all will be involved in the task. It is a growing life, and more and more is its watchword. The opening verses of this chapter pinpoint important characteristics of the life which pleases God. It is a pure life. God's plan is to make you holy, and that entails, first of all, a clean cut with sexual immorality. Verse 3, Philip's Version. Diametrically opposed to adultery and fornication, it will clash with the standards of the day. However, the beauty and blessing of the pure life, especially as seen in Christian marriage and family life, will bear a stronger testimony than many words. It is a life of fellowship. You yourselves have been taught by God to love each other. Verse 9. Purity and brotherly love were conspicuous characteristics of the early church. Tertullian's report of the heathen reaction to this love is well known. See how these Christians love one another. Such brotherly love is part of the package of a genuine Christian life. It is a life which wins the respect of outsiders, so that your daily life will win the respect of outsiders. Verses 11 and 12. In any culture, the pagans know who the real Christians are. Unobtrusive, faithful work wins their respect. Pray with me. It is by your Holy Spirit living in us that we are able more and more to live our lives to be pleasing to you, Lord. Help us to be faithful in our prayers and searching the scriptures, seeking you always and everywhere, to be obedient in keeping ourselves pure and separated from any sexual immorality, whether in thought, word, or deed, to be loyal in our fellowship of believers, loving one another and bearing each other's burdens, and in humility, doing our work as unto you, God, that you receive all the glory, honor, and praise. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, and the links are there as usual if you want to check that out. So give it a thumbs up and click subscribe. I'll leave a comment, question, prayer request. Love to hear from you. So have a good day. God bless. See you tomorrow.